What up, Copper family? I hope you guys are doing wonderful today. Uh, I know I am. Uh, we got we had a wonderful morning. I didn't sleep at all. I don't know if you guys ever get anxious, and because you're anxious, you're all just like all giddy and everything. And so we we got to be on uh, Channel Five News, which is our NBC local news KSL, and uh, we got to start promoting Copper Johns, our barber shop, and I got your six twenty two which is our fundraiser that we are sponsoring tomorrow at our barber shop. So I'm really excited for that. Um, I'm going to be showing a lot of those clips tonight um, on our uh, new uh, send of the month release. And so I hope you guys join us there. But today, and then also today, tonight, it's huge. We're going to be doing our two, uh, two giveaways for our $500 uh, box for all those who ordered um, on last week or last month, we are going to have, uh, we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds on this wheel, and I'm just going to spin it, and it's going to give us everything, so I'm really excited. Today is a great day, and I'm so pumped that you guys are here, truly, and so, uh, hey, Ginger, man, thank you so much for being tonight. Uh, I try my hardest. We do a lot of uh, random lives that are only for new members. Um, we're thinking about maybe doing a live for everyone, but only new me or only members uh, can jo join. Also, occasionally I throw out these ten dollar gift cards just for being uh, a part of it. So I thank you so much. That means a lot. D dot, what are you doing? Check out that beard. Hope you're doing well, man. Thank you so much. And then this is the lady that made it happen. She just randomly texts. I was asking her, hey Melissa, can you please contact people? about the being a part of the silent auction. So contact customers, all that kind of stuff. And what's so cool is she messaged a lot of radio people, all this kind of stuff. And holy crap, we got on KSL. It's the biggest news agency in, in Utah. And so thank you so much. Rick, thanks so much. Be safe, man. Drive safe. I don't know about you, but it's snowing hard here in Utah. Um, all Northern Utah, we're just, it's a wide out. So drive safe. Um, that's why I'm wearing this. It's cold. I don't know about you guys, but I'm cold. John, what are you doing, man? Thank you so much for joining. That means a lot. Appreciate you. And Mr. Nano, how you doing? Man, I love your icon. It's really cool to your logo. Yes, thank you. Uh, Jason, how you doing, man? I'm getting on it. Hey, we're out of our uh, soap bars. Our, our little dishes, so I need those. I know I ordered them, but I need them. So, anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Like I said, we were lucky enough to be on that radio or that news uh, this morning. Uh, we're going to film it, or we're going to show what we filmed back in the backstage is kind of what happened um, behind the scenes. And uh, we're going to be doing two $500 mystery boxes tonight, announcing, obviously, you guys have kind of seen it right here. As you can tell, I've already been using the send of the month for, for this month. It's one of my favorites, and I really think you guys are going to enjoy it. So join us tonight at uh, 9 Eastern on this channel. So kind of about uh, a little about what's going on today. Please, uh, the, what we're, this format is all about is me getting to know you, you getting to know me, and we're asking questions for each other. So I have a list of questions, but if you have any questions for the chat and myself, so I hit them up, um, I'll star them, and when uh, it's time to ask those questions, I'll definitely do it. Yeah, Jeff, right? So Jeff, just so you know, he works, uh, he, he's, he lives in Utah, and so he's gotten hit hard. Salt Lake, I believe, it got even hit harder than us, so. Yeah, what's up, man? Appreciate you joining. So anyway, uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, anything like that, I do know that uh, just uh, for those who are here, uh, we do have a, a cool giveaways for the sales that are going to be happening. So anyone today, just today only, up to, I think, 20. Oh, I dropped it. Just, I'll get it. Uh, 20 of you will be receiving a Copper John's ornament. And so, uh, as you can see, it's a Copper John's ornament. And all you guys who order North Pole Alaska today, up to the 20, will be getting an ornament. I just thought that was kind of cool. So I wanted to get that for you guys. So hope you enjoy and uh, anyway, how are you guys doing? How was your day? How was your week? What are you guys doing this weekend? Anything fun? Oh, good. We need it. <laughs> um, but yeah, what are you guys doing this weekend? Anything fun? Um, I don't think there's any movies out. Is there anything brand new? Nothing that I can think of. I know I'm taking my kids have already been in the backyard, did a snowman. And uh, I know later on this weekend, we're going to be probably going uh up to the mountains and go sledding. I don't know if you guys like to sled, but we love to sled. We'll probably do that Sunday. 
Dude, I'm excited for this. It's either going to be amazing or it's going to be a dud. <laughs> but I, I'm really excited for this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of fun for everyone involved. Uh, we have a DJ. We have a DJ who just asked us if they would uh, want us to have a DJ. So we're going to have a DJ now. Um, we have a company called Yes. Uh, we have a company uh, called um, I'm going to have to look it up. But they're supplying 150 cups of flavored ice like uh, Zeppi? Zeppi's. It's called Zeppi's. And they do this uh, Italian ice. And they're like $6. $6 uh a cup and they're doing um 150 cups and so they're doing those so they're donating 700 dollars worth we have a gentleman right here check this out for tonight he, he had me print this off it's a guided ice fishing trip all equipment included everything it's a 600 dollars value and it's for one day for up to four people and he's going to be doing that i mean like no joke how amazing is that I'm really, really excited for that. Um, I'm also, we also have uh, Alberto. He had donated a lot of stuff from Beer Gang. I think three hats and three shirts. We have uh, a company who donated uh, a yard or a truckload of rubber pellets for uh, playgrounds. We have guys who did um, um, tons of landscaping services. We have a company that donated four of their paintings that are worth hundreds of dollars. Um, we have people who are donating um, $100 gift cards. We have one guy, just a guy, just a guy. He's donating a date night for, for whoever they want. So they donate and they, they're paying for dinner. They're paying for movie. They're donate, They're paying for their drinks and, and their sodas and, and their candy and all that kind of stuff. They're paying for a date night. And I, I just thought, how amazing are people? How amazing are people who, who are trying to help? Uh, these veterans and these uh, first responders who are going through some hard times with PTSD. So I'm really excited. This is going to be a fun event. And uh, we're going to have Matt and Eubin. Uh, they're going to be out here and while Logan and I are going to be live there. So all four of us are going to be there, but we're not going to be talking. Uh, those two are while we are doing the event that you guys can see. So everyone's going to be involved. So I'm really, really excited. I'm trying to figure out how to get you guys involved in the auction. We're going to have the silent auction like I was just telling you about. And some of the things aren't Utah related. And so I'm trying to figure out how are we going to have you be able to not donate, but actually bid on an auction if you want to, like the pictures and the paintings and things like that. So we're going to work that out for you guys. We had a snowstorm slam in the Great Lakes area. We got eight. Oh, man. In three hours. So uh, did you guys just not leave your house? Because that's in three hours or eight, that's hard for the snows, the snow trucks to come plow all the stuff that they need to. Just got off work. What's up, Dagan? I like your logo, man. I like the Christmas tree or the, the Christmas hat, man. Christmas parade with the kids this weekend. Greg, where are you from, man? That'd be really cool. I don't know anywhere where there's a Christmas parade here in Utah. Dude, I absolutely love X96. I listen to them every morning on my way. It's just, they're one of my favorite people. Um, they're they're good people. I like it. Carrie, actually, I got to meet him when he was uh, doing some stuff for the show, plays that I always do. Hey, Michael, how you doing, man? We were just talking about all the giveaways and everything everyone's doing for uh, I Got Your 622. Definitely, uh, Michael is a, definitely a veteran who's who's given up a lot to be able to support us and be able so that we can be free and all that. So, Mike, I appreciate you and everything that you've done and definitely be there tomorrow. I think you're going to be really enjoying that. I know you're not going to be here in Utah, but I mean, just definitely be there. Yeah, City Plaza just gave up. Yeah, you have to. There's just a point where you're just like, I can't catch up. Eight inches is a lot in three hours. What's up, Dan? How you doing, buddy? That's awesome. How you doing? I'm so glad you're here. I'd never get to see you. You're all working and everything. 24 more days until everyone celebrates my birthday. Wait, is your birthday Christmas? Dude, that's awesome. That's my that's my mother-in-law's birthday, and she said she hated it. She said everyone would get amazing birthday presents throughout the year, and then when it comes Christmas, she would just get a pair of socks extra. Like everyone would get Christmas presents, she would get a sock. So she said she hated it. What's up, Ken? Everyone, if you haven't gone, uh, checked out uh, the reviews on all the Christmas scents from all the wonderful companies, definitely, definitely go check it out. He has ours. Ours is the very last because we were the very last one to send in our product. Took me a long time to get this. 
but I'm not going to share what the pitcher looks like. But as you can see, I use it. Um, and I've used about two or three bottles of this to test what I wanted. And I think we got it. Uh, I think we got what we wanted. So I appreciate you, Ken. Appreciate you willing to do all that, man. Yeah, see, that's what she had. She had that experience. Uh, Dagan was a Christmas miracle. <laughs> But you killed it. It was so good. Thanks, man. I really, really like. It was a good. Um, I'm, and guess what, guys? Uh, I just got uh, just got done talking with Ken via DMs, and uh, on the ninth, as you guys know, we're having a thousand dollar plus giveaway, uh, or giveaways that equals out to that much on the ninth on this channel. So a week from Saturday, a week from tomorrow, and him and Mel uh, are going to be on the stream. Dan C and and um, Sam are going to be on there. Um, I know Logan and myself, and I know that uh, Melissa and Garrett are going to be on. Um, I know that Brian Beards and Banjos is going to be on. Um, I know Cruz Healthy Bearder is going to be on. There's going to be a lot of us on, so I'm really, really excited. And uh, we're all going to be doing a, a, some sort of giveaway um, that get to choose and, and what we're going to be giving away. So I'm excited. It's going to be a fun time. Hey, Mike, appreciate you, man. Check that beard out. You guys just have some amazing beards. Just go home from disc plowing all day. What is disc plowing? Is that just uh, cultivating the earth for next season when you plant? Because that'll be cool. Uh, let's go. Works. I'm really excited. It's going to be fun. I got to message all you guys and say, "Hey, this is these are what needs. This is these are things I'm asking you to do, so you understand." But uh, so anyway, kind of what uh, I was kind of I have like. 16 17 questions that have people have asked me and uh i really really would like you guys ask any questions that you might have for me or anyone in the chat that we all can answer and all that kind of stuff so uh yes the ninth you said and it is uh, so it's nine eastern it's going to be on the copper john's channel and it is all uh, and it's next a week from friday or week from saturday week from tomorrow and uh it's going to be fun it's going to be fun i would invite a lot more but we can only have 10 on at a time and uh, so we're just going to have all 10 of us, all 10. We're going to, it's going to be really, really fun. A lot of engaging conversation. And uh, I'm excited. I've never actually had been on a stream with Sam. So I, I'm excited to get to know her a little bit better and ask her questions and all this kind of stuff. So it's going to be fun. So, yeah. And, and there's going to be tons of opportunities to win stuff like 20 prizes, stuff like that. I mean, uh, there's going to be a lot of giveaways. So I really, really hope you guys join us then. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. And who knows, maybe some people drop out, like they have to go home and, and or go, you know, take care of their children or something like that. And we can have some of you guys on as well, like Dan from Bear of the North. It'd be fun. Michael, all you guys, you're all just amazing people. So I wish we could do more for you. Okay. So a question that I uh, keep getting around, and I, you guys have asked me, what is my favorite beer care product and what would you recommend to others? So for me, I would like to know what you guys have. But for me, um, obviously, my go-to is first going to be um, beard oil. And, and I love beard oil, um, especially right now when it's so cold and dry. I'm always going to be using beard oil. And uh, I always use beard oil for my head, my hair. Like, I never really use any gel or balm or anything. I'll use balm, but I won't use uh, anything other than beard care products now. And so I always use that. Then I will, I, my daily conditioning wash and my sweet water conditioner. Those are the three things that I must have. Um, after that, it's all just relative. Um, I did use beer butter today. I needed that little extra moisturizer just because of how dry and cold it is. Um, but that's what I always recommend to others and recommend to myself. So those first three, and if you have to have a fourth of beard butter, what do you guys recommend? You don't want me on there. Hey, Dan, you, if you can be appropriate, you're more than welcome. <laughs> uh, Dan wouldn't tell me. A, yeah, right. But no, that's what I would. What would you guys recommend? What are your favorite beard care products? I'm not talking about companies. Just overall, what would you recommend? And then from there, um, what would you recommend to others? Guys, this song just gets me. All oh, right, so no one's talking. I think everyone's driving home. So that's so I'll just go on to the next question. For me, oil, wash, and butter. Okay, John. So you don't do conditioner, or is that just your top three? And and uh, 
conditioner would be your fourth or something. Uh, it doesn't matter. I could, it's just totally up to you and what you do. Um, okay, wash oil and butter. Those are the top three. That's interesting. I'm different, I guess. I use butter, but I, I don't use butter that often anymore. Top five products, collagen, biotin gummies. They are good. Yeah, I uh, you, like I said, I'll use butter uh, maybe three times a week now. and uh, But the, mostly the oil just really does it for me. But again, my beard isn't as long as your guys'. Is. And uh, so... Hey, what's up, Chris? How you doing, man? What a good person you are. Appreciate you coming. All right, next question. Have you ever experienced any beard-related skin issues such as acne or irritation? If so, how did you address them or how did you address them? Um, how did you guys do that? Have you guys ever experienced that? Oh, really? You only use conditioner once a week. I use it twice a week, Wednesday and Sunday. That's kind of funny. We're about the same. I do conditioner as well, but for me, the biggest game changer was butter on a damp beard overnight. Facts. I get that. I get that. So you have not ever had anything. Okay. So beard related skin issues. I have had the beard itch before and I have, as I was, um, before owning your company, before learning about beard care products and just throwing on whatever Candace would buy me or my mom would buy me or whatever. Um, I would, I would get a little bit of acne because I put too much on and I didn't realize that because my beard was still dry and I couldn't figure that out. So again, if you use too much beer care products, too much oil, it will cause uh, too much balm, too much butter. It will cause acne. Uh, absolutely. Uh, greetings all you amazing on chat as well as beard in the north. Back off the oil. Uh, back, back off of the oil for the under. Yeah. That's exactly what you need to do. Back off the oil for acne under the beard. So uh, what I learned is if you're getting acne, I would just not use beard oil for maybe a day or two and then just slowly address that. Because if you're doing this and then you have butter all over your hands or your oil all over your hands after five, six minutes, you put too much on. You, there's no need for you to have an oily beard through, through the whole day. Just doesn't make sense. So then that, when you do have that, you will be causing such as acne or some sort of irritation. However, as you guys know, I've said this multiple times, I'm allergic to grapeseed. Grapeseed does burn my skin. I don't know. My daughter is allergic to kiwi, so we're just weird. And uh, <laughs> she really is so weird. She's allergic to kiwi. Um, but we got to be careful because it actually shuts her airways down. Um, but yes. Yes, that's, that's what I do is I, if I have any skin related issues due to acne, if I'm using too much oil, you just back off it. And then also with the irritation uh, due to being allergic. I know people that are allergic to coconut oil. Uh, a lot of companies will say, hey, I don't want coconut oil. Will you please just not put that in there? And I'm like, yeah, we can figure that out. Uh, she, oh, is this what Melissa is doing? I uh, shopping for a shirt and tie for my son's Christmas party concert. He's not excited. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm not excited to ever go to those. I love seeing my kids. Um, but man, I don't want to see everyone else's kids 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after while I'm just seeing five minutes of my son. A few times with uh, skin or beard issues, I've completely stripped, washed beard, and just do not, uh, you do not any products for one to two days except a daily wash after that then back in dialing in perfect jason i think that's really really good that's really good advice just strip your beard completely take it two days and then just slowly bring it back on and dial it in because like you said you can't use too much and then also humidity is a factor um dryness you know humidity is a factor the weather like the climate is it cold is it warm all those kind of things do play in a role on how much oil you're going to be using on a on a daily basis and so you have to tweak it every season you have to tweak it i know in the winter i use more than i use in the fall or in the in the summer i just have to it's because here in utah i don't know about you like some of my kids will get bloody noses and i used to all the time in the winter because it gets so dry that your nose actually cracks so I don't know if that's how you guys are. I'm sure Wisconsin, um, Great Lakes area, all those kind of places, it's really humid, so you don't have that issue. But for us in Utah, and like I would imagine, a lot, not a lot, um, Arizona, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, those areas, I'm sure that happens as well. Colorado. Um, G dot, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well. 
Um, evaluate uh, for allergies, absolutely. Um, you have to, and you have to know, you know, if you don't know that you're allergic, definitely just test it on your skin just in case. I think most people assume beard oil will make their face oily in a bad way, but it's complete opposite. Oh, absolutely. You have a hobo oil that, uh, you know, most of these oils act as a sebum oil tricker. Like they trick your body thinking that it's actually making sebum oil. So it'll stop completely doing it. And so you put a little bit of hobo oil and all the beard oils on your face. They'll actually make it so your, your skin is less oily. I've had it. I've told this to a couple uh, parents uh, in my neighborhood. I'm like, just try this. Just take three or four drops after they wash their face. Just three or four drops. Do this and just rub it in their face. And it actually has cleared up their skin. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's usually not dry here. No, you live right next to a huge freaking lake. To me, it's, there's got to be something like I live next to a lake. You live next to an ocean. <laughs> like, it, dude, you're, the lake. I'm so jealous where you live. I see you out there with Croc wearing freak out. <laughs> Kenny Paldro. I love butter for a super dry skin. It's me. Oh, dude. One thing I do uh, like about the butter is um, it really, really helps. Like my son will put it on his, he, he gets a little bit of dandruff, for like dry skin on his hair. And he put a little bit of butter after the shower on his hair. He never has that issue of, uh, you know, flaking or anything like that. I know elbows, cuticles. I don't know if you guys ever put oil or butter on your cuticles, especially in the winter where it's dry. Man, I never have any of those hangnails anymore because I, I do that. Also, beard oils scared me ever using any sort of chapstick i don't know if you guys don't use chapstick i used to use chapstick all the time i don't use chapstick i don't remember the last time i used chapstick now i need some <laughs> Just joking. uh some cinnamon cherry scents oh i wonder what's in them now are these fragrances or the actual like um oils themselves like are you allergic to uh cinnamon itself or are you allergic to just what's in a a generic scent kind of curious tyson at some point y'all have to get over here and we'll have to dude that's I'm telling you that's kind of like a, a dream of mine i would love to and, and my dad's best friend uh is taking a few of us not on my dime he's just a wonderful human being but he's taking us to alaska in uh, june uh, same gentleman when you were helping Candace when my website went down when I went to Alaska last time he's taking us again but this time he's taking us deep sea fishing and so we're going to go halibut fishing and everything oh I'm so excited it's June of next year it's going to be fun hopefully our website doesn't go down <laughs> uh, doing good man how's your night amazing appreciate you I don't you're probably not talking to me but I appreciate it and thanks for coming I use beard oil on my hands and bald head. Dude, my brother, that's exactly what he does. He asks for a beard butter all the time and, and oil, and he'll put it on his bald head after he shaves and everything. It's such, it's, dude, it's a universal product. I absolutely believe in it. On the Rocks for Ladies, best under eye serum ever. Just saying, smells so good. Yep, lip moisturizer too. Um, I have a lot of women who will use mustache wax for their eyebrows. I've never thought of that, but I guess there's a certain like thing that they're trying to do where they have their uh, their mustaches go or mustaches their uh eyelashes go up not eyelashes eyebrows i can talk so i don't know if you guys have ever heard that but women are using mustache waxes all the time for that stuff they also use castor oil to grow their eyelashes and so people they'll buy our the beard oil because it has castor oil and it's a lot less expensive than what they're doing and then they'll dip their little what are they called little brushes of for their eyes and they'll put it on their eyelashes so it's kind of cool what what you can do I'll be here to help. <laughs> you were, you were so, you were so kind to Candace when that happened. And uh, I, I didn't have phone service for a week. All of a sudden I come home and it's just like, I, we get into, it was, we're at Seattle. Seattle was when I forgot my first, uh, when we had service the first time. And then also when I get all these messages, oh, website went down, website down. Luckily we were just like a week old, so. Dang, I wish I could go deep sea fish. Uh, no, that's a bucket list thing for me. That is a bucket list thing. I am so, so excited. Um, so excited. I just, that's one thing that I really, really want to do. And hopefully, you know, as Copper John's continues to grow, um, I, I, you guys, right from the get-go, like three years ago, three and a half years ago, I did a live and I gave you a bucket list thing that I really want to do. 
I want to create, uh, I want to build a cabin, a legit cabin where I can uh, do giveaways where people can come, we can go fishing, we can go four wheeling, we can go boating, we can do all that kind of stuff and just do giveaways and have people come. That's one of my things I really, really want to do. And uh, we'll get there. I really like, there's times where I'm like, is this ever going to happen? But we'll get there. And I'm super excited. As you can see on this side, I've been packing orders and then also I'm like, oh, I have a live, I gotta hurry into it. So don't mind that. Those eyebrows aren't moving at all. Dude, not mine. Mine are so light. They're starting to go gray like my beard. Sheesh. The, the fork's starting to go away. Slightly different experience. Salmon fishing is, dude, salmon is amazing. Um, so we went salmon fishing at the Yucatan River, or no, in the Yucatan in Alaska, and it was the Middle Italio River. There's nothing like it. Oh man, it's so much fun. I could, I could just live there. Just probably not in the winter, <laughs> but holy cow! And Alaska is a rainforest. I didn't know that. I had no idea Alaska was a rainforest. The oil is amazing for thinning hairline. Is it though? Is it though? <laughs> no, yeah, I believe it is. I really do. No, I meant the wax. Yeah. <laughs> no, the wax. Uh, it's amazing what some of the things do with it. And I believe, Melissa, you use the wax for your, uh, what is it? Whatever your bangs. Is that what it is? The flyways on your bangs? Nothing is more relaxing, dude. You know what? Okay, TV. One of my favorite things ever is fishing by myself. And, you know, people can have boats, people can have um, canoes, people can have uh, whatever they have. You know, my favorite thing is, is an inner tube. So the fishing inner tube in the middle of Pine View, which is kind of my go-to place because I still can get phone calls if something's going on. But I'll just be sitting there in this little cove where it's like no one really knows about. Uh, and no, no one can get there unless you kind of just do what I do and just fish with no music, no nothing. Just listen to the waves hit the, the shore and just fish and just kind of bob with the water in the tube. Oh man, it's my favorite. I'm getting chills. You can't see it, but I'm getting chills. It's my favorite. Just cast and just like that. I don't even care if at that point if you get, get a bite. It's just... Dude, there's something about fishing and just being one with nature, so to speak, and it just relieves all your stress. Same with working out. When you just have good music in and you have your earbuds in, you know you're not talking to anyone, you're not listening to anyone, and you're just working out. That it's, it's the same vibe, just a little bit different, if that makes sense. You get in trouble trying to pet a wild moose, dude. I still can't believe Cruz thought he could pet a moose. I'm like, dude, I don't think you know how big they are. <laughs> they're they're huge. You can hit a moose in an 18 wheeler. And it will still live. And I, there was a kid um, when I was in high school. She was driving and she hit a moose. And the moose are so tall that it just went through the windshield and it was still alive. And it started kicking and it, and it kicked her head and she died instantly. And I'm just like, dude, you don't mess with a moose. Beard oil didn't help with my hair. <laughs> Women get broken hairs around the hairline, baby hairs. You'll never need crunchy hairspray again. Oh, there you go. I like to try that. I would definitely like to go ice fishing. D dot. So I don't know if you were here when we did this. So we're. This is one of the experiences that uh, are a part of the silent auction. There's a gentleman who is a part of Ice Fish Utah, and he does. Uh, guided ice fishing trips all equipment included up to four guests it's a 600 value and it's up for grabs tomorrow and uh, i don't know if you're ever in utah but i candace told me i have to bid on that one I'm like that would be fun i don't know if you guys have ever been ice fishing at all but it's a little scary at first and then you get used to it because you're walking you can see what's going on you hear the cracks you hear everything and you're just like Ooh. Oh, but then you play catch with your dogs on the ice and you throw it as far as you can and it keeps going and then they stop but they the, the ball stops but the dogs keep going because they can't stop it's funny i love waiting in the water fishing near the bank uh just being with an oh dude facts though i mean like there's nothing like it like really there's nothing like it 
I know. Uh, I don't know if you've ever done waveboarding in the ocean. Like when we're when we went to Oceanside, Carlsbad area, um, we would go, and I would. <laughs> Like, okay see you guys and for like an hour i'd just go by myself and i would just go on a wave board and just keep going in and it's just like i love the water i love that kind of stuff you tried ice fishing oh can i you have never tried don't you live next to a lake that freezes over like in october i'm being serious like it seems like you would what that's cool yeah I haven't, but uh, if you haven't, man, you need to. What's cool is you use two hooks instead of one, and uh, the poles are a little bit longer, or a little shorter, I mean, and it's just fun. It's a really cool experience. All right. I guess I can ask another question. Ooh, I have someone coming downstairs. I can hear him. Hi. I'm on a live. It's my wife. She brought me treats, everyone. Thank you, sweetheart. Love you. Uh, same here, Ohio. Uh, sucks for fishing. Anymore. Oh, why? Why does fishing suck in Ohio? Just because there's too many people and they're fishing? Uh, my favorite is miles out on Lake Michigan. Can't even see that. Dude, see, that's what I'm telling you about. That's not a lake. That's an ocean. Yeah, she left, but she's a sweetheart. Let's see what she brought me. I'm a little curious. Ooh. Uh, have you guys ever tried this? Hasbro frogs? Dude. It's been a while, huh? Oh. Got the mints. For when I'm talking to you guys, you, you, I don't want you to smell my breath. Anyway. I love those frogs. All right. So next question was... Uh, da -da -da. Okay, right here. How do you handle excessive beard shedding or hair loss? Are there any preventative measures or remedies that you would suggest? That's a great question. Um, how many of you guys, I think all of us have gotten, uh, I would say COVID and experienced COVID hair loss. I know I did. I lost a ton when I was in the hospital. Like I would wake up and there'd just be gobs of hair everywhere. And it really stressed me out. I know Candace, when she got it, uh, lost tons of hair tons of hair so i'm curious did you guys have that experience but <clears throat> tyson where i live in ohio we only play like oh yeah i get that uh blue sharks gummy sharks what are these sharks that you speak of yes so number one thing definitely is plenty of water Cold weather causes all this for me. So weather change, COVID for sure. So what I always tell everyone is like, there is natural hair loss. There, You're going to lose, and it all depends on you. Like some people might lose 10, some people might lose 30. That's normal for them and what their body is. For me, mine's about 8 to 12, I've noticed. I, yeah, it's weird, I count. Um, but what I've noticed is when I'm more stressed, when I get less sleep, if I'm not drinking enough water, even if I like, I have all my dead serious guys. I have all my gummies right next to me. And if I'm not taking my gummies, I can notice a difference in strength and everything. Um, so those things I've noticed that will help prevent that using good beard oils, uh, using good beard butters, using good uh, washes and conditioners for your beard specifically, that's pH balance for your skin. But there's nothing that's ever going to prevent you from shedding or hair loss however that excessive part is what you know you'd be concerned about and uh, you only know what's excessive on your part but uh for me though i the only time i ever really noticed a huge difference was during covid um and then i noticed uh, once i did i started taking the bite in the collagen and it was like immediate difference even with my wife uh yeah never i never had gummy sharks i never even heard of them but I've heard gummy worms, I've heard of gummy frogs, I've heard of gummy bears, um, octopuses, or is it octopus eye? <laughs> anyway, um, stress is awful, 100%. Lack of sleep with the stress, uh, lack of water, all that kind of stuff is definitely an issue. 
When I was at work on Black Friday, I was wearing a Santa hat, walked by this kid in a stroller, and he said, hey, mama, they're Santa. Dude, seriously, though, your beard is epic, and it's gray and all that kind of stuff. You have a good color. That's cool. Did you, did you tell him that you were Santa, though, afterwards? Okay, next question. Do you have any tips or tricks for achieving a fuller-looking beard? Are there any specific products or techniques you find effective? Bro. Uh, give me real quick. You have to, yes, I agree with this. Um, for me, um, I have several friends who who have significant patching, like patches, like their whole side of their beard, like right here is empty or like right here. And so I've had a hard time because I said, just don't shave for three weeks or three months and we'll see what happens. And it doesn't cover. And so uh, there's some things that we can't do. There's some some things you just don't have the genetics unfortunately however if you can grow a beard and you have smaller patches and stuff like that i would just grow and grow and grow and let those patches just just cover themselves i don't know if you can see this i have lots of patches right here like there's right here then right here i don't have any hair right here i don't have any hair and so you just let it grow and eventually it just it just um, fills in and sometimes it doesn't and sometimes it does but and then also beard oil uh, will help you look fuller but I honestly think beard butter more than anything helps your beard look fuller than anything fuller and what do you guys think is beard butter make your beard feel fuller because I think it does um, and then specific products or techniques that find effective um, combing but combing with a, a really quality comb that's not plastic or wood and then allowing that comb to go very slowly, uh, that type of stuff. So if you're just looking for a fuller look, maybe something like that. Hey guys, sorry my son has playing. Oh, yeah, it happens, man. Kids take phones. Uh, when I was younger in Ohio, river was really clean, but since I got older, the river got really bad. And just last year, they oh, I'm sorry, Oof. that's scary. There's a couple of places here locally where I won't fish. And if you do fish, you won't eat it there. Um, it's just gross, like next to the, the dump and all that kind of stuff. The landfill is just like, I wouldn't fish there and I wouldn't eat there. But you see people fish there all the time and take the food, so I don't know. But I won't eat carp. There's a lot of carp over there. Um, I do like trout, but trout's native here and and I like cutthroat. Um, a lot of people don't like it. It's acquired taste, I think, but I like trout. Um, my favorite fish to eat would be... Um, Small mouth. I love small mouth. So you fillet the small mouth. You put in um, a tin foil, and then you put oil and then lemon powder. And then um, if you can, like two slices of bacon. And then you put it in the middle, and then you slab those together. You put it in the tin foil, and then you cook it. It's stupid. Swipe it. Oh. Someone was calling my phone. This is This camera right here is my phone. Oh, still dead. All right. <clears throat> Clarification on the face and scalp is super important to keep the sebaceous glands from sealing, preventing new hairs to pop through. Absolutely. And what's cool is if you read the blog about the ionic inland sea minerals. What the crap? Why is that not working? Um, if you read it, you'll see that um, ionic in the sea minerals, the magnesium, due to if you have any type of uh, preventing uh, sealing of that with a, with calcium or anything like that, it'll actually strip it too. So, really important to have your face clean and all that kind of stuff. So, really, really good idea. What is going on? I guess it just gave up. weird note to self throw that on airplane mode so no one can call uh beer butter is amazing every night before sleep absolutely a lot of guys do it and uh i just i will tell you this that uh beard butter especially for longer beards and you guys who have thicker beards is amazing it's a game changer for you guys at night so you wake up and and your beard is nice and soft it's not all bent out of shape all that kind of stuff absolutely agree with that and so uh yeah yeah ken grew up in in the south of Luru, 
uh, just outside of the All Hell River has gotten pretty bad. So, yeah, he's from Louvre. <laughs> oh, thanks, Melissa. Guys, feel free um, to join me on the YouTube Live. This specific, or YouTube Amazon Live right after this. It's it's at in twenty minutes. I'm be going to be going over our soaps. I'm going to be going over some beard oils, um, just because that's what it, we're being introduced this week. Uh, my soaps just landed. They're going to be on board here shortly, and so I'm kind of excited. So this is all informative information uh, with YouTube or with Amazon. Uh, just to help and inform everyone because there's a lot of people guys who don't know and that's why i'm trying to do something like this so people can see afterwards uh how to trim their trim their beards do their beards and what products to use all that kind of stuff because it's important because you guys are experts kind of like what i was saying last week is like i have tweaked my my product and i probably will continue to tweak it as as we learn and grow but you send out the product to experts to test, right? You guys are the experts. And so I appreciate every one of your guys' insights. I appreciate all of you guys. It means a lot to me. And uh, that's what I mean. It's like, there's there's the other, there's the world. And then this community are experts. We all we all have some, some sort of insight that I think is amazing. And I appreciate you guys always helping me. And Ken is from Louisville. He, he can't say Louisville. He has to say Laurel. <laughs> uh, doing this live, then Amazon Live, and then the Send of the Month Live. Yes, and we were on KSL, which is our, our news station uh, here locally uh, at 4. Uh, well, I woke up at 4 a.m. It would be uh, 6 o'clock. So it's really cool. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just trying to make this... Uh, John, I, I really want Copper Johns to grow, and I really appreciate you guys, and I really want to um, see what we can do, and I'm never not going to be pushing. And I enjoy talking to you guys. Yeah, I've been hooked on using Balm a lot when I don't tie my beard up for, for work. Say I use, oh, I didn't know that. Even for the longer beard, huh? Yeah, but you do kind of have right here, don't you? You kind of use Balm right there, and it kind of pushes it down. Ah, that's smart. That's really smart. All right, what about this? I get this quite a bit. What do you guys say? I'm really am curious. Is it possible I butters and oils in person without going to the shop in Utah? Uh, Taylor, we're actually in quite a few stores. Um, right now, if you go to Marshall's, and we're only in two nationwide stores right now, which would be Marshall's and TJ Maxx. And it's only going to be Sundance and Nightfall and only have our um, milk and collagen, dark forest, and oats and honey soap. It's just those four things. But we're in a lot of local stores and barber shops, um, and uh, we're getting more here shortly. Like uh, maybe one in Texas, maybe one in Michigan, and maybe two in Michigan. No, and one in, in uh, Illinois. But there'd be like a small chain. Um, but yeah, sorry, man. That, that's I'm I'm tr I'm trying, man. If you have a company out there that you want to buy from, give them my name and uh, tell them to hit me up, and I'd love to work with anyone. So just let me know. Hey, what's up, Twitch? How you doing, buddy? Thank you for joining. Uh, with the right wash every day, especially if you work out, sweat, get dirty. Okay. So I agree with you. It's kind of a personal preference how often you should wash your beard. First of all, you should wash it anyway because it's gross if you don't. Uh, us guys, uh, we tend to sweat a lot, all that kind of stuff. So I wash my beard, but I don't strip it. So there's a difference. You definitely don't want to strip it every day because that's going to damage your hair significantly. You do want to strip it. And so I personally only strip it once a week, and that's going to be in Sunday. But I am going to use the daily conditioning wash, which is more of a hydrating conditioning wash. It's going to clean and cleanse your beard, but it's not going to take away everything, like all those oils that you want. And so it's not going to be that damaging to your hair. Uh, but Ken is absolutely right. You want to get rid of that crap, um, I guess, literally. But you want to get rid of that. You're going to, if you're working out, if you're, yeah, I don't know about you, but I sweat when I'm sleeping. I get warm. And so uh, you just want to get rid of that stuff. Taylor, TJ Maxx Marshalls have a couple of oils. Yep. Uh, Tyson, sounds like you'll be a family entertainment for the evening. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, guys, 
I'm not going to lie. Uh, our uh, Send of the Month stream is going to be fun. We have a lot of stories. I'm trying to not talk about any of that so that you guys have something different. To, we're going to be showing some videos. My daughter is actually working. Uh, we we got a camera, a really nice Ken. I got that Sony uh, S Alpha SV10 or whatever we talked about. I got that. My, da my daughter is using it right now. And she used it this morning when we were on TV. She got all the the behind the scenes type of thing. And so I'm really excited to show you guys that she's editing it right now. But I hired my daughter to kind of be the person in charge of all my social media content building it other than, you know, the small little TikToks that you make from your phone, but like Instagram and YouTube and stuff that I'm going to be using her a lot. So she's 17 and she is just a wonderful human being. So I really am grateful for her for willing to do that. Sounds oh yeah. Um, Many, many stores to come. Just wait. I'm I'm hoping. I'm hoping. We're trying. Nothing. We can't say we're not trying. That's that's all I can say. Yeah, it sucks, but I'll do fish there in the summer for the year, and I'll be selling it all. Oh, my mom used to do that. Uh, there. So the region is kind of everywhere. Uh, they're only so don't they have 1,300, 1,200 stores, and they bought enough for 600 stores. And so if it goes well, which I should find out here shortly, you would think. Uh, now that Black Friday is over, uh, if they're going to take us nationwide, like all 1,300 stores. And if they do, that's so cool. Uh, yes, you did. They just got one. It's really, really cool. They just put it on our DMs or on our... Way to go, babe. Unless that's something else. Uh, sweet water conditioning every day. Oh, you use sweet water every day, Jeff. Interesting. Okay. Uh, awesome. What other uh, local barbershops sell your products? Taylor, where are you from? You mind me asking. Uh, then I can tell you if we have anything in your area. I wash uh, every day, condition every other, and strip once a week. John, that's a great routine. Uh, nice, John. Okay. I use daily conditioning wash every day. I uh, use my conditioner once a week. Okay, so you're a lot like Ken. That's what Ken does. You never strip yours, really. Okay, I use a um a, my um, milk and collagen because uh, it's made for and milk. It's goat's milk and real collagen, and I use that every Sunday to strip my beard. But that's just me. But your beard is amazing, so that's what I mean. So everyone does their stuff differently. They do you do what works for you. You have a guideline, and then you tweak it to help you. Hey, Mike, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for joining. Love, Mike. I still haven't found anyone's around me. Oh, really? Where, John? Yeah, you're Great Lakes area. That's interesting. That's interesting. I wonder if they didn't make it up out your way. What did you see? Oh, Ellie or Lydia? Yes, right there on the corner on the left hand side on the bottom in the mirror. Yeah, I saw her too. Cute little girl. Uh, Tyson, any saltwater fishing? Um, Mike, there's no salt water except uh, the Great Salt Lake, and there's nothing that lives in the Great Salt Lake except brine shrimp. Fun fact about that, though. 90, I think they said 98% of all fish food, you know, those fish food flakes that you do, your goldfish and stuff like that, come out of the Great Salt Lake, and it is the brine shrimp. So right now, they're actually probably, there's ships out there, and they're actually getting all those. John, man. I'd rather support Tyson by buying on site. Appreciate it, Twitch. It means a lot. Utah, I use uh, Patreon in the barbershop. I used to Patreon in the barbershop. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, hit me up and I'll let you know. Uh, I know that Gentleman's Club on 12th Street. I know um, Buffalo Brothers in North Salt Lake. Um, I know there's a few in Provo. I hired a company to be a distributor to all the barbershops and salons in Salt Lake or in Utah, just because it was getting to that point. And so she, her name is uh, uh, Robertina out of Elite. And uh, so she kind of takes care of all the Utah barbershops and salons so that I don't have to. And so we're in quite a few. I just don't know all of them anymore. What's up, Steven? <laughs> you're such a dork <laughs> yep my daughter all right guys i have uh nine minutes until i have to go live um on on amazon on copper john so please please if you can um come give us a follow 
and I would love to, uh, you know, there's not right now, Amazon Live, I think I have 12 followers. And I think they're my mom and dad and with several different accounts. <laughs> uh, they're really supportive and I love them to death. So uh, yeah, Taylor, please do. So, but if you guys have a chance, come say hi. Uh, it just, I just figure I have the opportunity. I'm going to keep doing it every Friday on Amazon and just hopefully one day it clicks and some people just decide to, they want to join. So have a wonderful day. I will see you guys at seven. Again, anyone who orders, North Pole, Alaska, which will introduce a uh, center of the month stream at nine Eastern. You guys are going to be getting uh, some cool, cool, just 20, the first 20 ornaments that are Copper Johns along with the scent and all that fun stuff. So we ran out of our Christmas, dude, we ran out of our Christmas boxes. We ran out, ran out of our uh, Christmas stickers, dude, everything. It's just like we got destroyed Black Friday. Um, and uh, thank you so much. That's all I can say. It's just thank you so much. It means the world. Any plans to come to North? No, I wish I could. Um, I don't know if I'll ever want to go shark fishing. You know, I, like I wouldn't mind going. Um, I don't know what's really good to eat. Like I like to eat the fish that I catch. And so I don't think I would want to eat a shark. I don't know. However, I have had a hammerhead shark. I've had a hammer at shark and as Cervecci. So anyway, appreciate you guys. You guys have a wonderful day and uh, I'll talk to you in a couple hours.